Okay, I am getting my screen set up here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Mark and we are here and I am here with you for another live stream class. Yay! <clears throat> Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. One more time. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Okay, Helga said, wait, wait, wait. I need a yes, a Y-E-S. Okay, Samuel, thank you very much. Samuel, hello, hello, how are you doing? Okay, good. Tomas, how are you doing, Tomas? I saw your garden, big garden, very nice. <laughs> hello, Sewu. Okay, Rita, hey, I'm happy to see Rita. Dr. Ramirez, thank you. Pori, hello. Okay, the green team is in the house. Yes, yes, I'm very happy to see you. Ah, Ray Ray, hello Ray Ray. Marcos, Jesse, how you doing? Noel, hello. Nilo, hello. Lulu, hello. Helga, hello. Dora, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Radu, all right. Tina, hi, hi, hi. Clinton, thank you. Luis, thank you. Okay, well, Fran, hey, Fran is here. All right, Fran is here. Let me adjust my, my volumes here. My, okay, um, nice. Okay, well, um, I'm really happy to see everyone. Thank you for being here with me. Um, it, I, it's, it's really, really makes me feel really, really good because um, you are here with me and you're spending your valuable time here with me. And so I really appreciate that. And I do not take that for granted. No, I don't. Marion, how are you doing, Marion? Okay, good, good, good. Downey, hello. Tetsuro, how are you doing? Okay, good, good. Well, um, before we do, well, before we start, we always have a toast for good luck. Yes. So let's do that. Let's have our toast for good luck. We want good luck, don't we? <laughs> I need luck. <laughs> I need some good luck. Okay. No, I'm kidding. All right. Well, our first toast will be to the green team. Yes, the supporters. You see them. Their names are in green. Hey, Lolly. Okay. I was worried. Like, where's Lolly? But you're here. I'm happy. Thank you for coming, Lolly. So we're having our toast, and our first toast is to you, the green team. Yes, you see them. Their names are green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So we have to give the green team a big thank you. Yes, we do. All right, so our first toast is to the green team. Thank you. And if you don't have a beverage, you can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Bottoms up, everyone. Mmm. Ah. Okay, I'm drinking coffee and it's very delicious. <laughs> okay, let's have our second toast. It's for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason, reason for me to be here. Nope. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and wonderful lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. Yes, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink, don't we? <laughs> Mm. Okay, that was our toast for good luck. Yes, so now we have the good luck. So we got the power of the luck. So let's do it. Yeah, and here is today's lesson plan. 
we are going to do what is it? A review, a review of what is it. On Tuesday, I showed you four cards. On Tuesday, I showed you four cards and you guessed what it was by looking at the picture. You said what it was. So today, I'm going to give you clues. And from the clues, please tell me what they are. Then we will do which one doesn't belong. I'm going to give you four items and you tell me which of the four doesn't belong. So for example, um, we did these before. So there are four, one, two, three. So before we did um, a beehive, honeycomb, candle, a coin purse, right? And then most people said a coin purse because it's not made of wax, right? Where a beehive, you know, it's made of wax. There's lots of wax inside. A honeycomb is made with wax. Candles are made with wax. So, um, so the coin purse doesn't belong to the other three, right? So we'll do that, which one doesn't belong. And then we will do a problem and solution. I will tell you a problem and you give me the solution. You fix the problem. You try to fix the problem. So that is problem and solution. Then we will do a conversation from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. And today's conversation is number 32. And the theme is sports. So we will um, practice the conversation together. All right. And then after that, we will do the members only dictation cards. And the cards, the sentences were made by the members of the channel. Yes, the green team made the sentences and the, the idiom is um, to be, well, be concerned about, be concerned about. So those were the, those are the dictation cards. And the theme is be concerned about, and that's, that's it. So actually, that's a lot, right? That's a lot. We, we will be here for two hours, so I hope you're comfortable. I hope you are happy. I hope you are ready to practice your English with me and, of course, in the chat, right? So I always say for, for um, great practice, for for lots of vocabulary and learning, you could, you know, well, you can learn a lot in the chat. So our, our members, our um, people in the chat are really, really good and they are excellent. If you have a question, please ask the chat, yeah? Sometimes I can't always look at the chat. So right now, for example, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at the camera, I can't, I'm not looking at the chat. So I don't see what people are saying in the chat. So please, um, if, if you have a question, I'm sure someone in the chat knows the answer. They, someone always does. So um, please um, don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy, yeah? So if you have questions or comments, um, please um, do it in the chat and you will, you will not be sorry. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Oh, there's Air Lady. Hello, Air Lady. How you doing? Good to see Air Lady in the house. Okay, so let's get to it, shall we? Let's do what is it? What is it? And I'm going to write that question. I'm going to write that sentence right here. What? is it yeah and the reply is it's uh all right and so so there are four cards one two three and four there are four cards one two three four and i will get four magnets because there are four cards one two three four there's one magnet there is there are two there are three. <clears throat> there are four magnets. Yes, there are because there are four cards. 
Here we go. Oh, no, it's not a banana. <laughs> no banana. I haven't even told you. The, no, it's not a book. I have to give you the clues first, okay? From the clues, then you guess what it is, all right? So you haven't heard the clues yet, all right? So please wait for the clues. And here they are, okay? Card number one, and the clues are, it's used by painters. Painters mix their paint on this. It is thin. It's usually made of wood. There is a hole in, in it as well for the, for the finger. <laughs> so, so the painter can hold it on their hand. And so there's a hole so the finger could go through so, <clears throat> so they can grip it that way, right? So, that, so it won't fall, fall down, right? And painters use it to mix their paint. Yes, yes, you guys are fast, very fast, very good. It's a palette. Yes, it is. It's a palette. And painters use this to mix their paint. All right. To make to make new colors, right? So they, they have their primary colors and then they mix the primary colors to create colors they want. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number two, number two. And the clues are, it's a flower. It's a tropical flower. They're usually red. Um, you'll see these at Christmas time. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm thinking of the wrong flower. Forget what I said. It's a tropical flower. <laughs> it, it can come in many colors. Um, it's, you could see them in Hawaii. That's, if you see like a Hawaiian shirt, you'll see this flower on many Hawaiian shirts, right? The pattern will be on many Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't have to. Thank you. I didn't, I don't know too many clues for this. <laughs> so you got the answer quickly. So I didn't have to give you too many clues. So thank you for that. <laughs> yes. It's a hibiscus. It's a hibiscus. Very good. It's a hibiscus. Oh, from India. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure, but um, no, Radu, I've never been to Hawaii, but if you, if you see pictures of Hawaii or like t-shirts and things like that, you'll see this, this flower on Hawaiian shirts and, and Hawaiian brochures and things. So, so I, I'm just guessing. <laughs> so I don't have first-hand experience. I do not have first-hand experience because I have never been to Hawaii. I want to go. I want to go. Okay, here we go. Card number three. This is a planet. This is the largest planet in our solar system. It is You'll see it, it's made up of a lot of gases, right? Um, yeah, okay, I don't want to have, I can't give too many clues. <laughs> okay, good, Lolly, thank you. So it's the largest planet in our solar system. It's made up of um, gases. Ah, okay, that, okay, I don't have to say so much about it. I'm happy you guys got it right off. Thank you. Yes, it's Jupiter. It's Jupiter. Okay, good, 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 good. Ah, Radu, that's a, that's his joke. Because he, um, Radu says um, Jupiter is gassy because it ate too many beans. So beans will give you gas, right? Gas meaning they'll make you um, fart or, right, um, 
So that that's funny. Okay, card number four. All right, here we go. It's a chart. Yeah, it's a graph. It is made up of thick lines. So the thick lines give us data. So it, we can use this to see um, year by year. For example, my YouTube channel. I can, I, I can see YouTube gives me information about my YouTube channel. So I can see like um, with, by a graph with the, a visual, right? A graph is visual. So by the, looking at the graph, I can see how my channel is doing, if, if, how the subscribers are doing. Am I, am I going down in subscribers? Am I going up in subscribers? Am I going down in views or am I going up in views year by year or month by month? or week by week. And so um, this is a graph made up of thick lines. And it's called, uh, yes, you got it. It's a bar chart. Good, good. It's a bar chart. Okay, good job. That was great, everyone. No problem. This was a review from Tuesday. You got, we did this on Tuesday. On Tuesdays, by looking at the picture, you guessed what it was, right? You had to come up with the word in English. But on Friday, we review by me giving you clues. And so that will trigger, the clues will trigger your memory, right? So you have to think about the clues and what it is. So it's a good way to review vocabulary. Okay, good. So we have, what is it? It's a palette. What is it? It's a hibiscus. What is it? It's Jupiter. So Jupiter is a proper noun, like your name, so we don't say a lolly, we say lolly, right? So Jupiter is a proper noun, so we just say Jupiter. It's Jupiter. And then it's a bar chart. What is it? It's a bar chart. Okay, good job, everyone. All right, let's continue on. All right, let's go to our next activity, shall we? Okay, our next activity is which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? So I will write that on. So this is activity one. And then our next activity. Which, which one doesn't belong? OK, which one doesn't belong? And I'm going to tell you four things. And you tell me which of the four, which one of the four doesn't go with the other three, right? So we have four. So which of the four doesn't go with three, right? So I always, I'll give you a very simple example. Here we go. Bicycle, blue, bus, train. Bicycle, blue, bus, train. Bicycle, blue, bus, train. Which one doesn't belong? Blue, right? Because blue is a color, and these three are transportation, right? Bicycle, bus, train. These are transportation. This one is a color. So color, so blue doesn't go with these three. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Here we go. Here are the four things. A ring. Earrings. A hot air balloon, a fork, here we go, one more time, a ring, earrings, <laughs> my, oh, my fingers, okay, a ring, earrings, a hot air balloon, a fork. Which one doesn't belong and why? Here we go, one more time. A ring, earrings, a hot air balloon, a fork. Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, I'm going to um, show you the, 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 the things, the items. Okay, oh, I just have to cover the bottom one. So we have, 
I need a piece of paper here. Okay, I'm going to cover the bottom one because we these we've already done. We haven't done this one yet, so I'm covering that. So we have a ring, earrings, a hot air balloon, and a fork. Which one doesn't belong? We have, we have, here we go, a ring, earrings, a hot air balloon, and a fork. A ring, earrings, a hot air balloon, and a fork. Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, Dr. Ramirez is on the board. She says a balloon because it, it's not made of metal. Oh, very good. That's interesting. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, so, right? So a ring is made of metal. Some rings are made of silver. Some are made of gold, right? So, an earring, same thing, and hot air balloon, no, no, and a fork is made of metal, but um, hot air balloon is made of fabric, right? So, good one. Let's see, Tomas says, a hot air balloon, it is not made of metal, okay? Let's see, Pori, um, you can eat with a fork. So, so a fork doesn't belong because a fork you eat with that. The other three you do not eat with those. Okay, very good. All right, Tomas, a hot air balloon because it can fly. Very good. The other three cannot fly, but a hot air balloon can fly. Very good. Ray Ray, hot air balloon because it, fly, it flies up or it goes up in the sky. How about that? It goes. So it kind of like floats, right? Because it, it, there's no power. So the wind takes the hot air balloon, where like an airplane actually has power, right? The engines force the plane through the air, right? So that kind of flies, right? So a bird flies, right? It flaps its wings, and it, it uses the power to move, right? where, where um, hot air balloon just floats. It, it just, the wind takes the balloon. Okay, ring because all is for eating. No, no, only the fork. Let's see. Okay, no, balloon, I want to know why. That's the most important thing. Why, why, why? Samuel, hot air balloon because it's used for flying. Good. Um, Manome, how you doing? A hot air balloon because it's, it is not made from metal. Okay, good. Vilmar, how you doing, Vilmar? A balloon is made from rubber or fabric. Yeah, maybe fabric or um, nylon, but nylon's plastic, right? Not rubber. So I don't know. I, I don't think it's rubber, Vilmar. I think it's like nylon. And that's, nylon is made from plastic, I think. Let's see, Tetsuro, hot air balloon, because it's, it's transportation. Okay, yeah, we could travel by hot air balloon. Yeah, good, good, good. I don't see my answer yet. I do not, I have a different answer. I have a different answer. Marco says, a hot air balloon is the only thing here you can't take with your hands, or you can't hold it with your hands. Very good. So a ring we can right hold right with our hand. Um, earrings we can hold with our hand, and a fork we can hold with our hand, but not, not, not a hot air balloon. It's too big, right? Too heavy. Um, Lolly says, a fork because there's no I in it. Okay, Lolly, she loves spelling. So ring has an I. Earrings has an I. Hot air, air has an I. But fork has no I. Very good. Yes, yes. Um, Sebu says fork is a gadget made of metal. Yep. So a gadget. Hmm. 
I'd say more like a tool, not a gadget is more of a um, device, you know, like different parts. We're, we're a fork, basically one thing, you know, like it's just shaped, it, it's one piece shaped, you know, with, with three prongs, right? So, so fork is shaped, you know. So I, I wouldn't say it's a gadget. I would say, well, it's a utensil, right? That's actually what it is. It's a utensil, utensil. All uh, right, Helga, a fork because it is used uh, the most often. Oh, very good. Yes, Helga, nice one. Helga says a fork because it is used most often, right? So a ring, it's not really used, right? We just wear a ring. Uh, e earrings you wear. Hot air balloon, maybe, I've never used air, been in a hot air balloon. I've never been in one. I've seen them before, of course, but I've never ridden in a hot air balloon. But like, I use a fork almost every day. So um, it is often used. Good one. Oh, Evelyn, how you doing, Evelyn? Good to see Evelyn. Mwah, good to see you. Yay, Evelyn's here. Yay, yay. Hot air balloon, it's not made of metal. Yes, Evelyn. Fran says, uh, air balloon, because it is for uh, making a great activities with our friends. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, yeah. So, a hot air balloon is a great activity we can do with our friends and have a lot of fun, right? So, I don't know, I've never been in one, but it looks fun, right? Like, being high in the air and being open like that, and you could just look down. So, I'm sure it's got to be a lot of fun. It's got to be very exciting. And when you're with friends, that makes it even better, right? So you're sharing that, ex that, that um, experience with your friends. So it makes the experience even better. So if you can do it with your friends, that makes the experience even better. Great, great, great. Oh, okay, so I can't read um, your Chinese characters there, but balloon because it's for play. Yeah, or like hot air balloon is for like having fun and enjoyment, right? Sightseeing, enjoyment. Helga, sense equals meaning. I, I need to know like um, what sense, so like, we're using our senses, and that is meaning? Maybe, so like, um, mm, I need some more information, sorry. Sebu, earring, because it's for females. It's for females. Well, not really, lots of men wear earrings now, Sebu. I think um, your Korean boy band What's their name? The, the the popular boy band from Korea, GTS or I, G, GT. I forgot their name, but I think they all have earrings. I think those those um, those members, those that boy band. I think they all have earrings. What 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 are they called again? Um, G GTS. I forgot. BTS. <laughs> Not GTS, BTS. Okay, yeah. So I think they all wear earrings, don't they, Seiru? Okay, sushi. <laughs> That's easy for me to remember. Okay, thanks for telling me your name. All right, sushi. Good, good. Welcome, sushi. Happy to see you here. All right. So I don't see my answer, so I'm going to tell you my answer. Oh, this is a good one, Lolly says. Hot air balloon because you can't put it in your pocket. No, you can't put it in your pocket. I could, I can put this ring in my pocket. I could put the earrings in my pocket. I could put a fork in my pocket. I wouldn't want to, but I could do it. Okay, here is my answer. Okay. Here we go. My answer is...
ring. My answer is ring because a ring goes around your finger, goes around, right? So here, here's my ring, this is my wedding ring. So it goes around my finger, yeah? But an earring goes in. For a hot air balloon, you go in, and a fork goes in the food. <laughs> so the, the fork goes in food, you go in the hot air balloon, their earrings go in your earlobe, but a ring goes around, goes around. So that is my answer. There are no wrong answers. No. Okay, good, good. Now let's do one more. Oh, Ava. Okay, good one. Ava, Ava's answer, earrings because they're a pair. They're a pair. Ring one, right? Hot air balloon one, fork one, but earrings are a pair too. Very good. Yeah, see? Use your imagination. You guys could come up with lots of interesting answers, right? Just use your imagination. Use your creative powers. Creative powers. Thank you, Sewu. Okay, here we go. Um, ring because it goes around our fingers. It goes around, yeah. <laughs> what would you... So Marcos, I, I would never be able to say that. What are you... What, what is that? Okay. Let's... Okay, okay. Our... Last one, here we go, four more items, here we go. A bath towel, toilet paper, memo pad, a passport. Okay, one more time. A bath towel, toilet paper, a memo pad, a passport. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? One more time. A bath towel, toilet paper, a memo pad, and a passport. Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, what's your question, Yosef? What's your question? Okay, Radu, toilet paper because it is used for wiping. Yep. Okay. Helga, a passport because it is a document. Good. I'm going to show you the, the four things. Here we go. Bath towel, toilet paper, memo pad, and a passport. One more time. A bath towel, toilet paper, memo pad, a passport. Okay, so which one doesn't belong with the other three? Marco's memo pad is little, like, like a, a pad of paper, to write notes. So I have a memo pad right here. Hold on. Hold on. Right here. So here, these are, and so it's, it's together, right? So the paper's together, and so I could write a note, and then I can just, doop, right? And so, right? So here's my note. I could put it somewhere. I could take it, I could put it in my pocket. Oh, don't forget. So, okay, I'm going to the supermarket, right? So I need, okay, because when I go to the supermarket, I forget what to get, right? I forget, so what I need. So I need, okay, I need milk, eggs, I need some cereal, and I need uh, lettuce, okay, lettuce. So. I don't want to forget these. They're very important. I need them for my meal tonight. So I wrote them down on my memo paper. 
and I'm just going to put it in my pocket, right? And then when I go to the supermarket, I could take out my memo pad or my paper and then go, okay, milk, boom, eggs, boom, cereal, boom, lettuce, boom. Okay, I got what I needed and I didn't forget anything. So I hate, so I hate when I go somewhere and I forget, like you go to the store, supermarket, and you forget something you need to buy. That, that's a memo pad. Okay, um, now I need to look at the chat. Okay, let me go. I missed a bunch of people. I missed a bunch. Okay, okay, okay. Radu, okay, wiping. Okay, Helga says a passport because it's a document. Okay, I remember that. Uh, Marcos, what is a memo? Pa okay, okay, now, now I'm back on track here. Tomas says a passport because we use it to go abroad. Good. It's um, travel documents, right? Evelyn, a uh, uh, passport because it is to travel. Good. So passport is used for traveling. So the other three do not belong with that. Good, good, Evelyn. Radu, a passport because you can use it to enter other countries. Oh, I have my towel. Can I enter? <laughs> I have my toilet paper. Can I enter? <laughs> no, you can't. You need a passport. Okay, good. Um, Pori says a passport. You can travel with it. Good. Radu, a memo pad because you can use it to avoid forgetting. Yes, right. If you have to go to the market, make sure you take a list, right? Write down what you need before going. Radu. Okay. Lolly says passport because you don't use it in the bathroom. Okay, yeah. Um, memo pad you can use in the bathroom, right? Let's say you're sitting on the toilet and you have some spare time. <laughs> so you're, you, you could get two things done at the same time, right? You can do your business on the toilet and write your shopping list. <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone. Okay, um, Tomas says memo pad is a sticky little paper. Well, those are post-it. It's a little different. Let me, I have a post-it note. I have, that's a little different right here. I have some post-it. So this can be the same thing. So here, these are little post-it memos and they have the sticky back, right? So you could do your note and then you can, you could stick it anywhere, right? Right? There it goes. But my shopping list does not stick, right? But it's still, we could say, you know, this is a, we can call this a notepad, right? Memo pad. And then we have another kind. So, so it really, it's just paper that we use to um, write a memo, which is just um, reminders, right? So we use these to write reminders. So we don't want to forget. So I want, I write this down to remind myself, right? I write the shopping list to remind myself. Okay, good, good, good. Um, Pori, Tomas, okay. Marcos, let's see, I missed again. I missed, okay, I'm, I'm lost in the chat. I'm lost in the chat. I don't know where I am in the chat. Where was I before? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm lost. So I'm just going to, sorry if I didn't say your answer. Oh, okay. No, I'm not lost. I don't think, I think I am. Dr. Mary's passport, because it is exclusive, exclusively used for traveling or identification exclusively, so that's an adverb, exclusively used. Marco, sorry, um, wh what are the four ones in the, the group? Okay, no problem, Marco. So, Marcos, one more time. So, 
Can you tell me the four things one more time? Yes, no problem. A bath towel, toilet paper, a memo pad, a passport, a bath towel, toilet paper, a memo pad, and a passport. I don't see my answer yet. I have a different answer. I don't see my answer yet. I have a I have a different answer than yours. Okay, Evelyn, question is memo pad the same as notebook? No. A notebook is has a binder. A notebook has a binder, which is a binder is I have a binder so my book is bounded so there's a binder so right so all the pages stay where where um so it there's a binder and there's um covers right however a memo pad does not a memo pad does not right so it does not have a cover it has a back but it doesn't have a cover and that the pages are meant to come off easily a notebook you can you can take out the paper but you there's it's not as easy right there there might be a ring binder right so a wire ring that goes through so you could rip out the paper but it's more difficult to take out the paper. A notebook, you, you want to keep the pages inside, right? So then, so you're writing notes and it's used for like studying and keeping it together, right? You want the paper to stay together. Where a memo pad, the purpose is for the paper to come off, okay? so. It's not, a memo pad is different than a notebook. Okay, okay. Okay, I see my answer. Okay, Lolly has my answer. Okay, yeah, Ava too. So bath towel, because it's not made of paper. That, that's my answer. Okay, Ava too, a bath towel because it's made of fabric. Good, good, good. Yeah, Lolly, so, and Ava. That, that's my answer as well, mine too. Okay, good, Dr. Maris. A, a passport because it is exclusively used for traveling or identification, perfect. Oh, Helga, a bath towel because you can wash it. Yeah, because it's not made of paper. Paper cannot be washed. Evelyn, uh, a memo pad is the same as sticky notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so sticky notes has the same purpose, right? You take it out. You take it out. You take the paper out on purpose. You, you, want, you want the paper to come out. But a notebook, you want the paper to stay. So, yes, we can say uh, sticky notes and uh, memo pad are the same. Okay, good. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, yeah, you got my answer. <laughs> All right, so um, my answer is a towel because it's not made of paper, right? So toilet paper is paper, memo pad is paper, and a passport is paper. But a towel is cotton, yeah, cotton. Okay, good, everyone. Nicely done. Yay. So that was which one doesn't belong. Good job. Now, let's go to our next activity. Our next activity is problem and solution. Problem and solution. Problem and solution. Okay, and I'm... I see my bell curve. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm using, I'm looking at my bell curve. I want to keep the fun. I don't want the fun to go down. So I'm changing now. I think this is a good time to change activities because 
we're having fun, so let's not stop the fun. Don't stop the fun. Don't stop the fun. Okay, problem and solution. Here we go. Here is my problem. Oh, no. Can you help me, please? Can you help me, please? I have a problem. Can you help me? I have a fear of flying. I have a fear of flying. How can you help me? Can you please help me? I have a fear of flying. I have a fear of flying. Can you please help me? I have a fear of flying. Please. Give me the solution, please. Give me the solution. Please help me. Ah, Vilmar. <laughs> but I have to fly. I have to go see my family. That's, I have to go. I have to fly, Vilmar. Vilmar says, don't fly. <laughs> That's easy, right, Vilmar? Easy solution. Don't fly. But I have to, Vilmar. Because I live in Japan. How am I going to see my family in the States? How am I going to do that? So, please help me. Oh, Eva. Eva does not like flying. She has a fear of flying. Ah, oh, Lolly says, take a bus or a boat. So, take a boat. So, that might take me a month. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to take me a long time to get to California from Japan by ship. That's going to take a long time. Rita says, walk or get a bicycle. <laughs> but I, we, have, we need an airplane to, get, to go far. If you want to go, sure, if you're going to school, ride your bicycle. If you're going to your job, ride your bicycle. But if you're going to another country, you need to fly. Let's see. Oh. So Marco says, close your eyes. <laughs> close your eyes. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Oh, that, that might be, that's a good idea. Okay. Close your eyes. Dr. Maris, you should visit a, um, oh, for phobia, so a psychologist. So you should visit a psychologist for your phobia, okay? Yeah, people, right? I think that's actually true. Like, people go to psychologists for, um, for their phobia, right? So phobia is, you know, you have mental, you have a, you know, a mental problem, right? So, in your head, right? So, oh, I, I have a fear of flying, and when I get on an airplane, I get super nervous, and I get anxious, and I sweat, I get sick. So that's in your head, that's, that's mental, right? People have uh, a phobia of, of close spaces, you know? So, many kinds of things people have mental issues, right? They get nervous, they get anxious, they get upset. Okay, Pori says, contact a psychologist. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, that's probably, that's a good, that's good advice for sure. Alice, you can take a train or ship. Yeah, but that's not, that's going to take a long time. A train is good. I mean, if you're on, you know, like, on land, you don't, if you don't have to cross water, a train is fine, right? If you don't have to, you know, go super far, a train is a good way to get around. Evelyn, relax. Think about your family. Yeah, so that's really good, Evelyn. So don't think about the, the scary thing, right? Don't think about, oh, I can crash. You know, if you're flying in the air, you know, we can crash. So, oh no, I don't want to die. So I don't want to fly, right? But 
relax, maybe have um, a cocktail, have some whiskey, <laughs> relax, and then just think about, oh, I'm going to see my family, I'm going to see my friends, right? So I shouldn't have a fear because this is going to be a good thing, right? I'm going to see my family, that's good. I'm going to see my friends, that's good. So there are more positives than negatives, right? And actually, not many planes crash. So actually, planes are pretty safe, right? Fran says, uh, before you must take um, alcohol. Yeah, to forget. Yeah, so Fran says, get drunk. <laughs> get get high, right? Like drink, drink, you know, drink whiskey or drink, you know, beer or wine and get relaxed and fall asleep, right? <laughs> Pass out. Um, yeah, stop taking the plane. I want to stop taking the plane, but that's hard. Helga, if you have a fear of flying, think that you have no need to go by the rocket or another planet. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's go to Mars. Yeah, that, that's, now that would be hard, right, for me, because if you're in like a rocket ship, you know, you see the astronauts and they're like sitting in a small area, right? So they're really, you have to be, to be an astronaut, you must be really patient you must be very relaxed person, right? Because you're not going to move. You're going to be in a tight area where you can't move and you just have to like relax and you're going to just go super fast. You're going to shoot out in space. <laughs> Radu, get drunk before boarding the plane. Yes, I think that's good advice. Oh, say, was that Rita? Rita. Go buy balloon. Yeah, go buy balloon. That would be fun. Let's take a balloon. Good advice. Yeah, Rita, drink alcohol before you fly. I think that's, that's I think many people do that. <laughs> yeah, Tomas. I think that would make you, I think that would be worse, Tomas. Make you paranoid. Maybe that would be worse than, I think alcohol is the best way to do it. Say we would close your eyes and think of the happiest moment. Oh, or say we would say, think of your happy place, right? So, so drink alcohol, close your eyes, and think of your happy place, right? So your happy place could be, you know, on your sofa. Your happy place could be like on the beach. Your happy place could be, I don't know, in a library. Your happy place can be at a barbecue, right? And so your happy place is where you feel most comfortable. And so if you're nervous, you know, think of your happy place. Good, Sewu. I like it. I like it, Sewu. Um, Evelyn, you can have bubble gum and keep chewing, that is very good to keep you out of anxiety. Oh, very good. Yeah, many people do that as well. Chew gum on an airplane. So I think many people, they'll, they'll drink alcohol, they will chew gum, they will put, they'll listen to music, right? So many people on an airplane will listen to music, uh, read a book, right? Because then you're not thinking about other things. You're just reading a book. You're in the story. So I think these are good things to do. Um, drink. <laughs> have a couple drinks of alcohol. Have a couple glasses of alcohol. Chew gum. Listen to music. And think of your happy place. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. Okay, good. Thank you, everyone. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay, my problem. Can you help me? I have a problem. My customer is very angry. 
I have a problem. My customer is very angry. I have a problem. My customer is very angry. What should I do? What should I do? My customer is very angry. What should I do? My customer is very angry. What should I do? Please help me. What should I do? My customer is very angry. What should I do? Please help me. Ah, uh, yes, Seth says, ask him what happened. Or like, yeah, why are you angry? <laughs> <laughs> Ask the customer, why are you angry? Oh, Alice, very good. Alice says, you should change your attitude. Yeah, so um, change the way you, um, you are acting, right? So if your customer is angry, maybe you're doing something wrong. Good, good, Alice. Um, you should meet him for a drink. Okay, yeah, so you have a customer, let's say you're a salesperson, and one of your customers are very angry, so yeah, so go um, have a meeting, like a lunch meeting. Oh, you're angry, Let, let's go talk about it, let's, let's go out to lunch, let's have a lunch meeting, let's talk about this, I don't want you to be angry. Yep, very good, good, Ava. Um, what is the difference between specifically and partially. Specifically is, is um, exact. Specifically, like exact, exactly, specifically. And then partially is part. So specifically is exactly that. Partially is, um, uh, partially is not everything just part <laughs> just part of it partially those are adverbs okay helga try to talk to him in a calm and fan okay good good helga try to talk to him in a calmly and friendly manner in a calmly and friendly manner very good oh lolly give him a discount Okay, good, good. Read the same thing. Give him a discount. Give him a discount. Samuel, you should talk talk about it with your boss. Okay, good. Yeah, I have this customer who's very angry. Hey, boss, what should I do? That's good advice. Good morning, Niva. Or, um, Niva. Good morning, Niva. Um, Sushi says, you should give him sugar. <laughs> Sugar, okay. Sugar, why sugar? Why sugar? Um, Helga says, offer some bonus. Yeah, so extra. Okay, so for this situation, you would say, Helga, extra. Like, okay, oh, I'm so sorry you're angry. I'll give you um, extra coffee. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, give a dis discount. That's a good idea. Um, Radu, let the customer know that you cannot interact with someone who is angry. Oh, so Radu is taking the opposite way. Like, sorry, customer, I cannot, when someone's angry, I cannot talk to you. Okay, um, Raphael, offer him a flying ticket to the Bahamas along with <laughs> kids. <laughs> Relax in the Bahamas, Raphael. That's a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, Niva. Please come back. Rita, call him. Call him to drink. Yeah, so Rita says, um, have a, a coffee together. Have a coffee together. That's good. Yeah, talk about it. Have a coffee together. Talk about it. Okay, what do I mean by customer? Okay, that's a good question. So a customer is someone who pays for service, right? So for example, you could have a customer in a restaurant. 
you can you can have um, business customers, right? So there are people who pay for your service, right? So you're in a restaurant and you are making food for the customer and the customer pays you money. So a customer pays you money for your service. Pays you money for your service. So, right, so she is a customer and he is a waiter and she's very angry, right? So that's a problem, right? That's a problem. Angry customers is a problem. Okay, Dr. Maris, you should give um, her the dessert and coffee for free. Pori, do not forget they are always right. Okay, so Pori has a, a good point. So it's very common in Japan where like the customer is always right. Yeah, the customer is always right. Give him money. <laughs> Don't be angry. Here's some money. <laughs> um, yeah, Tesro, you should ask why they are angry. Like, oh, sorry, why are you angry? May I ask you why you are angry? Um, Raidu, let the customer know that the tolerance is zero regarding verbal and physical abuse. So if you're angry, no abusing the staff, get out. Do not abuse the staff, get out. We don't need your business, get out. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, Ava, you can take him for a run or exercise. Okay, you're angry, let's go, come on, let's exercise. Let's go for a run, you'll feel better. Okay, I like that. Rita, apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry for making you angry. I'm sorry for making you angry. I'm sorry for making you angry. Okay, Marcos, what's the difference between a customer and a client? I think they're basically the same, but a customer I think is more like uh, public, you know, like a rest, open to the public. So like if you go shopping in a department store, you are a customer. If you go shopping or if you go into a restaurant, you are a customer. A client is more like private. So if you have a business and um, a client is more like continued. Okay, how about, I know, I know. this. A customer like comes and goes like one time. So that, like a restaurant, so that someone comes in, eats, and they're gone. You don't see them again or maybe not for a week. A client, you do business with them for a long time. So you're, let's say for example, I'm a salesman and I sell copy machines. And you have a office and you buy copy machine from me and every month I come and get you ink cartridge, I give you paper, right? So you're a client of mine, and so we're always doing business together, continuing, right? We're like a customer is in and out, in and out. You can console your customer and, and um, get feedback. Yeah, so that's good, right, Alice? So let's say you have a restaurant and you have many angry customers. Well, there's something wrong. So that's a good way to get feedback and you can then check out your staff. Maybe you have bad staff, you have a bad waiter, you have a bad waitress, or you have a bad chef. And so that is the problem. Not the customer is not the problem. Your staff is the problem. Ah, uh, yeah, Radu. Yeah, so today Karen yeah that's that's kind of a recent phenomenon right like someone's always like well Karen I think is like complains for the wrong reasons right like whining and they want attention for themselves right so that that's a whole different phenomenon okay good 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 okay put a relaxing pill in his coffee. Oh no, drug. <laughs> drug the customer. Make 
Give the customer drugs so they will relax. <laughs> okay, good. Mm. Okay, let's, I'm looking, I gotta think of the bell curve, okay. I think it's a good time we change activities, yes? I think you guys have great answers, great solutions, yes. So thank you for your great solutions. Um, you gave me great solutions for fear of flying, and you gave me great solutions for the angry customer. So thank you so much. No, Rad, dude, Google, um, they, they hid that. <laughs> you can't say that, Rad, dude. Okay, um, let's go to our next activity. Yeah, let's keep the fun moving. Don't stop the fun. Don't stop the fun. Okay, I'm gonna check off. So I, on my, on my lesson plan, I put little boxes so I can check, yeah? So we did what is it, we did which one doesn't belong, we did problem and solution. Now it's time for our conversation. Yes, right here in the book. We're changing the activity, yes, Rita, because I am, check, I'm, I'm, aware of the bell curve. I am aware of the bell curve. Okay, let's do our conversation. So today's conversation is 32 in my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. You get these at amazon.com. The links are in the description if you want your own book. If you don't have a book, that's okay because I'm gonna write the conversation on the board, okay? So if you have the book, thank you so much. If you don't have the book, that's okay because I could write, I'm going to, I will do that. I'm going to write the conversation on the board, okay? Before I write the conversation on the board, I want you to listen to the conversation, okay? So step one, listening, okay? Here we go. And the topic is sports, sports. Okay, here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you want to go swimming? No, I'm hurt. What happened? I was playing frisbee. Frisbee? How did you get hurt? I fell down. <laughs> okay, here we go. One more time. Do you want to go swimming? No, I'm hurt. What happened? I was playing frisbee. Frisbee? How did you get hurt? I fell down. <laughs> oh no, I fell down. Okay, so, um, so here it starts here and then it gets smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna write the conversation on the board so A, B, A, B is having a conversation. Okay, right here, I think we can go here. And we will be on the, on, on, on the screen here. Okay, A, do you want to go swimming? Do you want to go swimming? Question. B says, no, I'm hurt. No, I'm hurt. A says, what happened? What happened? Whoops, 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 whoops. Pee pee. Pee pee. Okay, what happened? Question. What happened? B says, I was playing frisbee. I was playing frisbee. Okay, I was playing frisbee. A says, huh, frisbee? Surprise, right? So A is surprise, question. Frisbee? How did you get hurt? How did you get hurt? How did that happen? And then 
B says, I fell down. I fell down. Okay, so this is our conversation. So let's practice. Let's go over um, pronunciation. We will go slowly and quickly. And then we will talk about the meaning. Okay, so first, and then we will role play. We will um, do, we will take turns. We will be the conversation. Okay, so first let's go over pronunciation. Here we go. Do you want to go swimming? Do you want to go swimming? Do you want to go swimming? No, I'm hurt. No, I'm hurt. No, I'm hurt. What happened? What happened? What happened? I was playing frisbee. <clears throat> I was playing frisbee. I was playing frisbee. I was playing frisbee. Frisbee? 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 How did you get hurt? How did you get hurt? How did you get hurt? I fell down. I fell down. I fell down. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, let's, the meaning, and then we would do speed. Okay, so let's talk about the meaning right now. So, do you want to go swimming? Um, together, let's do this together. Let, let's go swimming together. I'm asking you, do you want to go swimming? I am inviting you to go swimming with me. And B says, no, I'm hurt. So, I'm hurt meaning I have an injury. All right, so maybe I, my my shoulder is hurt. My neck is hurt. My back is hurt. My leg is hurt. My knee is hurt. My foot is hurt. So I have an injury. I, I can't move properly. I cannot move properly. Not as usual. I can't do this as usual because something um, is wrong with my body. What happened? What happened? So I want you to explain to me, how did you get hurt? Like, what did you do to injure your body? Please tell me what happened. Please tell me how you did that. And B says, I was playing Frisbee. I was playing Frisbee. I was, so past tense, right? So do you want to go swimming? No, I'm hurt. What happened? Past tense. And then um, past tense, I was playing Frisbee. So I was be yesterday, a week ago, whenever, in the past, I was doing this sport and got hurt. Frisbee, question mark. Frisbee, question mark. So uh, A is surprised because A is thinking, how can you get hurt? Frisbee. Frisbee is very, uh, it's not a, it's not a difficult sport, right? Like maybe many people get hurt playing soccer, many people get hurt playing baseball, many people get hurt playing basketball, right? Um, American football, many people get hurt. So maybe motocross, you know, so there are many sports where it's usual for people to get hurt, right? It's not uncommon. But um, A is surprised because Frisbee, we don't think people get hurt playing Frisbee, right? Hey, Frisbee, how did you, how did you get hurt? So, so A can't imagine getting hurt playing Frisbee. So A, it's like, huh? I, I've never heard anybody getting hurt. I've never seen anyone getting hurt. Like all you do is throw the frisbee and catch, throw and catch, throw and catch. Like how can you get hurt? And then B said, "Oh, I fell down." So, "Oh, I tripped and I fell down and you know, hurt." So maybe ankle, right? So um B fell down and hurt his ankle. So 
playing frisbee. So he can't go swimming, right? Because he has bandages on his foot, right? So it can't get wet. So he can't go, he can't go in the pool. He cannot go swimming. Okay, good, good, good. Um, now let's practice speed. Okay, let's go slowly and quickly, slowly and quickly. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's practice speed. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you want to go swimming? 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 No, I'm hurt. 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 What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I was playing frisbee. 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 Frisbee, 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 frisbee. How did you get hurt? 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 I fell down. 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 Okay, good, good, good. All right. Now, that was speed. We talked about meaning. We did pronunciation. Now, let's do the conversation. Let's be the conversation. Let's role play. Let's do it together. I will be A, you will be B. A, B, A, B. Okay? So let's, I will read A, and you will read B. Okay? Here we go. Are you ready? Role play. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you want to go swimming? What happened? Frisbee? How did you get hurt? Ah, okay, be careful. <laughs> Please be careful. Okay, let's do it again, second time. Here we go, countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Do you want to go swimming? What happened? Frisbee? How did you get hurt? Ah, okay, okay. Um, be careful now. <laughs> be careful now. Okay, let's do it third time. Third time is a charm. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you want to go swimming? What happened? Frisbee? How did you get hurt? Ah, okay. Well, please be careful. Please be careful. Okay, good, good, good. Now, let's switch, yeah? You are A, I'm B. A, B, A, B. You are first. Let's go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. No, I'm hurt. I was playing frisbee. <laughs> I fell down. <laughs> oh, thank you. I will take care. <laughs> Okay, let's do it again. You are A, I'm B. Five, four, three, two, one, go. No, I'm hurt. I was playing frisbee. I fell down. <laughs> I know. I, I don't, I, it was very strange. I fell down. I never fall down. So it was very strange. <laughs> okay, here we go. Count down. Last time. Third time is a charm. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one, go. No, I'm hurt. I was playing frisbee. Ah, I fell down. <laughs> I know. I was stupid. I know. It was so silly. I, I don't understand. I don't know why I fell down. <laughs> Okay, good job. That was the conversation, yes. Okay, let's now, um, if we have time, we will come back to the conversation, okay? But let's go ahead and go to our next 
activity. Yes, Radu, dogs are very good at frisbee and they never fall down. <laughs> dogs never fall down. Yes, they are very good at frisbee. Actually, I like watching dogs catch frisbees. It's very exciting. See the and the dogs just run and jump. It's really cool, super cool. Actually, I love frisbee. I really enjoy playing frisbee. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. There's um, a couple games you can um, play. Ultimate frisbee is really good. And there's frisbee golf. So I enjoy doing those activities. Okay. Here we go. This is the members dictation cards. Yes, the green team. They wrote these sentences. Yes, they did. And our topic is be concerned about. Be concerned about. And I will write this on the board here. Be concerned about. Let's see. I'll just go right here. No, right here. Okay. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I want just to write B. Be concerned about. Be concerned. Are we still on the board? Be concerned about. That means to worry, to worry. Okay? So be concerned about to worry, to worry. And we will do four steps, step one, step two, step three, and four. One is dictation. Okay, so you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Step two is shadow. That is speaking practice. Step three, on your own. Or actually, no, we're going to do pronunciation or review. Okay, so let's say pronunciation. Okay, pronunciation. And then step four is a quiz. Okay, so step one and step two. We're going to do it together. So dictation is that you're listening and writing what I say. Then shadowing is you're listening and speaking at the same time. So here, step one, you're listening and writing at the same time. Shadowing, you are listening and speaking at the same time. Then we will do pronunciation practice. Then we will have a quiz. Okay. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. And our member cards are Rita, Tomas, Ava, Larissa, Miley, Sophia, Marion, Lolly. Okay? And members, how you get to the members' content is you go to my homepage and you go community. And there you will see all the posts. And then for the members only, for the green team, I every week I put a, um, I give you a, um, a poll. And you, I give you an idiom. So like for example, this week, I gave you the idiom be concerned about. And then you guys chose what it means. And then you wrote a sentence. So in the poll, the members, they guessed, they chose the answer to what be concerned about means, and that means to worry. Then they wrote a sentence, and then I made a card based on their sentence. And now we are going to do these together. So, so I just want to remind all the members of the channel, go to my homepage, YouTube homepage, and then go to the community tab, right? So we have home, videos, playlists, community, membership, blah, 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 community. Go to community, and there you can see all the member content. So I just want to remind everyone, please, if you want to be green, 
support me and support the channel, please join the channel. Please join the channel. That would help me and help the channel. So please consider joining the channel. Get your name in green. Join the friendly green team, please. Okay, good. Now, let's do it, shall we? Yeah, Sewu, you, you missed it. So <laughs> it's okay. So next week, okay, Sewu. So yeah, you 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 didn't put your your sentence, Sewu. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Dictation time. Do you have a pencil, everyone? Yes? Do you have paper? Paper and a pencil? Yeah? Do you have a memo pad where you can write these sentences? Thank you, Lolly. Thank you so much, Lolly. So Lolly says, join the friendly green team. Yes. Okay, good. L Sebu says, yes, she has a pencil and paper. Vilmar, the great green team. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Dictation time. Count down. Five, four. Okay, Lolly's ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Sentence one. Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? <laughs> Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? Number two, I am concerned about my wife's health. I am concerned about my wife's health. I am concerned about my wife's health. Health. Card number three. I am, I am concerned about my mother in law. I am concerned about my mother in law. I am concerned about my mother-in-law. Number four. We are always concerned about our children. We are always concerned about our children. We are always concerned about our children. Number five. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. Okay, number six. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. Okay, number seven, two left, number seven. I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic.
I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic. That is a cat. Simba is a cat. <laughs> Three. I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic. Last card, number eight. I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. Okay, that was our dictation. You didn't see the card. You didn't see the sentences, right? So maybe some were long, some were difficult, right? Some words you didn't hear very well. That's okay because we are now going to shadow. We will now practice speaking, not writing, practice speaking. So we will say the sentence, then I will show you the sentence, okay? So first, we're just going to shadow. You won't see the sentence. But then, after we do it three times, I will show you the sentence. You can see all the words, you can see the sentence, and you will have a better understanding, okay? So that was the dictation. Oh, hold on, I need to get tissue paper. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on one second, please. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, sorry, sorry. All right, let's go to shadowing, all right? So this is speaking practice. Okay, good, Tomas. Good, good. Yeah, so, you know, we, we know the topic, so they're all going to be concerned about, so that helps a lot, right, when you're, when you're um, you know, when you're listening and writing. So we have an idea of, you know, we know the, the theme, right, so that, that helps us. That helps us. Okay, so let's do shadowing now. Hey, Mary. Yeah, these were yeah these were really good sentences this week. Really good. Yeah, I agree, Mary. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? <laughs> Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? <laughs> this is from Rita. I like this one, Rita. Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? <laughs> Maybe a little concerned, huh? Look at his face. Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? <laughs> Very good. I like it, Rita. That was a good one. I am concerned about my wife's health. I am concerned about my wife's health. I am concerned about my wife's health. A <laughs> good radu. This is Tomas. So Tomas, so Tomas is always like his wife, I don't think is in good health. And so um, Tomas is always concerned. I am concerned about my wife's health. Yeah, so so Tomas is always taking care of his wife. He's a good husband. Tomas is a good husband. Yes, you are. You always take care of your wife. Okay, number three. I am concerned about my mother-in-law. I am concerned about my mother-in-law. I am concerned about my mother-in-law. This is Ava. 
Ava is here. Ava says, I am concerned about my mother-in-law. So Ava, what, what is your concern? Why are you worried about your mother-in-law? What, why are you concerned about her, Ava? Why? I am concerned about my mother-in-law. Okay, number four. We are always concerned about our children. We are always concerned about our children. We are always concerned about our children. Okay, this is Larissa. This is Larissa's sentence. Larissa says, we are always concerned about our children. Yes. So I think good parents, right, worry about their children because they, 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 they love them and they want them to be safe. So I think that's very, very natural, right? I mean, that's being a good parent. We are always concerned about our children. Always. Always thinking about them. Always, I always want them to be safe. Yeah. Number five. <laughs> Tomas. Be careful, Tomas. Okay, here we go. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. This is Miley. So yeah, there's always trouble in the Middle East, right? Always trouble. So um, it's for sure, it's a concern right? It's a concern. We want everyone to be safe. We want the children to be safe. We want, the, we want everyone to be safe. We don't want war. War is bad, right? No. So it's a, it's a big concern, right? Okay, number six. <laughs> Radu, okay. That's right. Okay, here we go. Number Number six. Here we go. Number six. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. Oh, okay, hold on. So Ava, I asked Ava um, why is she concerned about her mother-in-law? And so Ava says, because my mom, oh, she got a stroke four years ago, and she is in a special house, and she's still only on, in the bed. Okay, so, so Ava's mother-in-law, she had a stroke, and so she has to be in a special facility for um, special care. So yeah, so that, that's, ugh, that's tough, right? So a stroke is, you know, part of your brain, you know, gets shut off, right? There's, you know, some, like a blood vessel pops or, you know, some part of the brain like stops. And so it might be like your arm doesn't work properly after a stroke or leg or, you know, side of the body or speech or something. So now the brain doesn't work properly, right? And so um, Ava's mother-in-law needs to be, have special care. And so that, that is something that nobody wants, right? So it's, it's hard. Oh, oh no. Okay. So good luck to you, Ava. Mwah. Here we go. I am, oh, this is Sophia and this is her cat Simba. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. So a veterinarian is an animal doctor, and so um, Sophia's cat has a cough, so maybe there's something wrong with her cat, Simba, so um, she's concerned about her cat's cough. Okay, here we go, number seven. I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic. 
I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic. I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic. This is Marion. I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic. Okay, so evolution means how it changes. Like, so, you know, like, so how people, we evolved, right? There's like the Neanderthals and, you know, how we, how we have um, evolved, we've changed, right? And so the, the, the Corona, uh, COVID-19, it's changing, right? Where, so it's evolving, so it's becoming stronger. The, the, the uh, COVID is becoming stronger, it's evolving, it's become, it's changing, right? And so there's different variants. And so the, the virus is evolving, which is bad. And so that's really, really bad. So um, Marion is concerned, right? I think we all, everybody is concerned about that because it's not, you know, it's, it's not just, okay, it's COVID and then we can find drugs to kill it. But no, because the, 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 um, the virus is changing. It's, it's, it's evolving. It's becoming smarter. And so it's more dangerous for us. So we all need to be concerned. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Last card. Last card. I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. I decided to go to the gym because I'm concerned about my weight gain. <laughs> I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. This is Lolly, but this is an example, right? Lolly, this is not true. This is just example to use concern, right? Lolly, this is, Lolly is in good shape, no problem. I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. I am concerned. So I'm on, I am watching my weight right now. So for dinner now I'm on steak and broccoli diet. So, so at night for dinner I have steak and broccoli. And so, and actually I'm feeling really good. So my steak and broccoli um, diet, I feel really good. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm doing it. Okay. Shadow is done. Okay, good. Now let's go over pronunciation. Yeah, I do too, Lolly. And broccoli is a superfood, right? And then steak is protein. And so, so I'm on, you know, broccoli and steak for dinner. So it gives me energy and helps me lose weight. Okay, here we go. Let's do pronunciation. So let's, let's go over each card slowly and practice pronouncing the words carefully. Here we go. Oh, that's good too. Yeah, they're basically the same, I think. Salmon's great food too, Radu. Yeah, so if you had like broccoli salmon diet, you'll lose weight, right? So that's good. Yeah, no fat allowed. Fat, keep away. No fat allowed. That's right, Saber. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yep, that's my diet, steak and broccoli right now. Okay, let's go over the pronunciation, shall we? Joe's hair is falling out. Is he concerned about it? I am concerned about my wife's health. I am concerned about my wife's health. I am concerned about my mother-in-law. I am concerned about my mother-in-law. 
We are always concerned about our children. We are always concerned about our children. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. I am concerned about Simba's cough. I should take him to a veterinarian. I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic. I am concerned about the evolution of the pandemic. I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. I decided to go to the gym because I am concerned about my weight gain. Okay, good, good, good. That's right, Niva. That's very, very dangerous, right? That's a big, big concern, Niva. So the vi coronavirus is changing every day, and it's it's bad. It's bad. It's not good for us. Okay, let's check off pronunciation. Okay, good. Now it's time for the quiz. Now the quiz, I'm going to shuffle the cards and you're not going to see the sentence, only the picture. So I want you to say the sentence by only looking at the sentence. Oh, okay, stop shuffling. Okay. Lolly, I got it. Ah, good morning, Merrick. Good morning, Merrick. Okay, let's. Oh, Vilmar. It seems Popeye the sailor was created to motivate children to eat spinach. Well, I think that's a good. That is very good. And actually, okay, people are commenting on food, right? Because I think we're all. Everybody is concerned about food, right? And, and diet and, and weight gain, right? So basically, I think if you eat whole foods, right? No processing food, right? So for example, right now I'm, for dinner, I'm eating steak and broccoli. And those are natural, right? So, so the beef is from cows and broccoli is a vegetable from the ground. So there's no factory, there's no, it's not man-made right? Man didn't make it. Like potato chips, you know, that's like additives. They, they add sh salt, they add, you know, the oil and things like that. So it's not good for us. So I think if you eat any like whole food, right? If you have like salmon and a vegetable, right? That's good for dinner, right? Chicken and a vegetable, right? So those are whole foods. And so do you eat cereal? I eat in the morning, yes, I, I eat oatmeal. But my oatmeal is, is I think it's healthy oatmeal. Um, so I have oatmeal and I put banana, raspberries, blueberries, boysenberries in there and I, I put um, s some seeds. So I think it's pretty healthy. And the, what, what the oatmeal does, it keeps me um, full all morning. So I'm not hungry till, till lunchtime. So, um, I think oatmeal is really good because I just I have that in the morning, and then I am I not hungry until noon, right? I'm not hungry at all. So right now I am not hungry at all from that oatmeal. Anyways, okay, let's let's do the quiz. So here is card, and please write the sentence. Please write the sentence in the chat. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do three cards. This is card number one. What is the sentence? Please write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence in the chat?
Uh, so cereal, it depends what kind of cereal you eat, Tomas, but right now they, there's some really good healthy cereal that like whole ingredients, right? So of course sugar is bad and all the artificial stuff, but it, there, there's now, it's expensive, but you can buy really healthy cereal, whole ingredients. Okay, here we go. What is the sentence? Helga's on the board. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. Good, Marion. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. Lolly, I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. Very good. Tomas, I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. Okay, good. Ava, I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. Rita, I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. Okay, very good, everyone. Ari, good. Okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, so Neva, our aunt Neva says, "I'm concerned about my daughter's health." Oh, I hope she's, I hope she's doing okay. I, please give my love to your daughter. Please give my love to your daughter. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. I am concerned about the war in the Middle East. Okay, very good, everyone. All right, so. Here we go. Card number two. What is the sentence? Card two. What is the sentence? Card two. Yes, Sushi. Good. Okay. Card number two. This is Tomas. This is the sentence. What is the sentence? What is the sentence? Oh, not the doge. <laughs> not the doge. Okay, what is the sentence? Okay, number two, Mary's on the board. I'm concerned about my wife's health. Lolly, I am concerned about my wife's health. Marion, I'm concerned about my wife's health. Okay, good. Ava. Okay, good. Let's check it out. And the sentence is, I am concerned about my wife's health. Okay, good. Good, everyone. Good job. Okay, here we go. One more card. And what is the sentence? Here we go. One more. Okay. What, okay, number three, what is the, the sentence? What, this is um, Larissa, Larissa's number three. Okay, Raphael is on the board. We are always concerned about our children. Helga, we are always concerned about our children. Marion. We're always concerned about our children. Sushi, I'm concerned about our children. Ava, we are always concerned about our children. Lolly, we are always concerned about our children. Neva, very welcome. Okay, Samuel, we are, we are concerned. Good, good, everybody. Nicely done. Okay, here we go. And the sent we are always concerned about our children. Yes, we are. If you're a parent, you are always concerned about your children, of course. Okay, nice, nice. That was that was the quiz, everyone. Nicely done. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay. Now I want every okay, I did a poll at the beginning, right? So if you, in the chat, there's a poll, and we got 141 votes, great, so that means maybe most of you voted, okay? So, so in the poll, in the chat, 
I asked you, okay, okay, I'm concerned about, okay, and I gave you four choices, okay, four choices. So within these four, what are you most concerned about? Okay, so global warming, 33% said um, they were concerned about global warming. Two, pollution, 23% of the people said uh, pollution. Three, clean drinking water. Um, that was 15%. Healthy food, 29%. Okay, so these are the four things that I asked you what you're most concerned about, right? So I'm concerned about global warming, pollution, clean drinking water, healthy food. So, so the most people were concerned about global warming. So I thought that was very interesting. And I mean, that affects the whole world, right? So that's, we, we all need to be concerned about that, right? Then pollution, that was 23. Uh, clean drinking water was 15%. So that, that was low. I think most people have clean drinking water, so that's good. And um, healthy food was 29%. So that's, so when, when we talked about, um, so I'm right now, I'm watching my weight, so I'm just eating steak and broccoli for dinner. And so, and then people said, what about salmon and chicken, right? So those are all healthy. So I think we, you know, a lot of people are um, concerned about healthy food. So global warming was 33% and healthy food was 30%. So those are like neck and neck. And then pollution, right? So we want clean air, we, you know, if. It's no good living where there's pollution and, and dirty air. And actually, pollution can be, you know, the river is dirty, the, the ocean is dirty, the, the air is dirty, right? So we don't want that. So, so let's talk about that for, we have a couple minutes. So we have about four minutes left, let's say five minutes left. So let's, let's talk about... Um, these issues. Are you concerned about global warming? Are you concerned about pollution? Are you concerned about clean drinking water? Are you concerned about healthy food? So uh, read a healthy food, right? So I think Rita, I mean, you have a restaurant, you have many animals. I think you probably have a garden. So I'm sure uh, Rita has healthy food every day. I'm sure. Uh, Mary says, I'm concerned about pollution. Yeah, so if you go to the beach or you, you go to the river, you want it to be clean, right? Or even your street, right? If there's like litter on your street, if you're, you know, where you're walking to work or, or going shopping and there's trash on the ground, that's pollution. Okay, Ava, healthy food. So Ava is concerned about healthy food. Uh, Samuel says, I'm concerned about global warming more than the other options. Okay, yeah, so our future, right? Our children's future. So right now, maybe we're okay, but actually, no, 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 no. Because they say now, it's affecting us now, right? So um, typhoons are strong. There's more typhoons. The, the, there's, there's more, you know, bad weather, right? And global warming is causing our weather to change. And so right now it's changing. So we're all affected by global warming right now. Ari is concerned about health food. Helga is concerned about global, global warming. Uh, Raphael is concerned about healthy food. Uh, Surma, we are concerned about our children. Surma is concerned about, yeah, so Surma is, um, right, so maybe global in the future, right? How will your, how will this earth be for your children, right? How will it be for my children, right? I'm 58, so I'm kind of on the, on the, on the, on the bell curve. I'm on the other side. <laughs> so I'm on the other side, but my children, are just starting, right? So my children are just starting. I'm over here. So how's the world going to be for them, right? Marion, 
Um, healthy food is very important, right? So Marion is concerned about healthy food. Lolly's concerned about healthy food. So a lot of people are concerned about healthy food. And it is like getting more difficult for healthy food, right? Um, you know, more and more people are eating fast food because it's very convenient, right? So as our life becomes busier and busier, we don't have time to cook maybe. We don't have time, you know, and healthy food is getting more and more expensive. So, you know, it's maybe getting more difficult for us to have healthy food. So that is concerning, concerning, yes. Um, Helga says, without clean water, nobody can live. That's a very good point. So that's a very, that's something to be concerned about. Healthy or, or clean drinking water is very important. Seiru, I'm concerned about global warming because the earth should be fine. Yeah, so we want the earth to be fine. Yeah, Tomas, the big factories must um, consider, consider global warming. Yes, they must. And I think they, they're starting to, Tomas. They, I think they have no choice. Um, Helga, I'm not concerned about global warming at all. Oh, really? Um, Ava, um, I sell healthy food and cosmetics. Okay, nice. So, so Ava, she is solution. So Ava is being, she's doing the solution, right? So Ava is selling healthy food. So she's helping to spread healthy food. So nice, Ava. So, you know, we have a concern, we have a problem, not enough healthy food, but Ava is helping the problem. She's coming up with the solutions. She is selling healthy food, getting people, like maybe for many people, it's hard to get healthy food, but Ava is bringing healthy food to the people. Mwah! Thank you, Ava, for doing that. Okay, Vilmar, the things on earth are all, have all been mixed by men. So all the bad things. Yeah, so let, let there should be more women um, presidents, right? I agree. I agree. Uh, Tomas, the big factories must, yep, global warming. So, yeah, because that's the future, right? Like, green energy is, you know, keeping the planet healthy and clean is everybody's responsibility. Not just the people, but the factories, the big companies, they have a responsibility. So, Radu, why do Americans... Okay, why does American food have so many additives in Canada, the food is much? Yeah, because um, America is run by corporations, and it's cheaper to um, make food than grow food, right? So making food is cheaper than growing food, and corporations want to make money. And so America is run by corporations, right? And so um, they make uh, they make food that is tasty and cheap. <laughs> and so many people want cheap and tasty food. So they're not thinking about the health part of the food. They're just thinking, hmm, it's very delicious. Oh, and it's very cheap. They're not thinking. Oh, is this good for my body? <laughs> They're not thinking that. So that's the problem. Okay. Well, um, okay. I have to go now. I think, oh, we got more votes. Thank you, everybody. Voting. So I'm going to, we had 150 votes. Thank you, everybody. 150 votes. And... The number one issue is global warming. So I think that's great. And I think that's good that everybody's thinking about global warming. So that means it's going to get better. If people are thinking about that, if people are concerned about that, then we are going to do something about that. I think we will have the solution. So maybe our future is going to be OK. Maybe we are going to be OK. Maybe our children will have a good future. I hope they do um, because I have two children. So I hope the future is 
bright. I hope the future is good for our children. Okay. <laughs> yes. For your children, for my children, yes. Okay. So um, I'm going to say goodbye. But tomorrow, I'm doing the grammar wheel tomorrow. Okay. So please come back. I want to show you the grammar wheel real quick. You can't see me, but I'm going to show you. And this will be tomorrow. Tomorrow we will do this. And tomorrow, the grammar wheel, okay? And so we're going to do these connectors. These are connecting words or conjunctions. So like, um, for example, Lolly's sentence was, she used a good connector. So, so here's Lolly. She says, I decided to go to the gym because, because. So she's connecting two ideas, okay? So I decided to go to the gym, one idea. I'm concerned about my weight, another idea. So she's connecting these two into one, okay? So we say connector. So she's using because, and we use because, um, however, right? So, um, so one plus, or, or because, so giving a reason, sorry, sorry. So because she's giving a reason. So I decided to go to the gym because this is the reason. Why are you going to the gym? Because the reason is I'm concerned about my weight gain. So she's using the connector because to give reason for her thinking, for giving reason. And so we're gonna do this tomorrow. So we're gonna do um, we have or, but, and so, because, yet, for, nor, okay? So I'm going to spin the wheel, and then whatever it stops on, we're going to practice that, okay? So please come back tomorrow for the grammar wheel, okay? And our grammar wheel topic, our grammar wheel tomorrow is connectors or conjunctions, okay? So that should be fun. And so I hope to see you tomorrow, everyone. Same time, 10 a.m. tomorrow, okay? That's Saturday, Japan time. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, Sushi, I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So um, let's come back. Let's come back tomorrow. Okay, so um, let's say goodbye. And before we say goodbye, please join the channel. Become the green team, yes. And you can make a sentence, and I will... We. And your sentence will be done by everyone in the world. So, so please join the green team. Make a sentence. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got two more votes. All right. So the people are still voting. So global warming is still the leader. Okay. So, oh, Marion. Great. Marion's going to be here tomorrow. Sewu is going to be here tomorrow. Fantastic. Okay. Vilmar, take it easy, man. Mary. Thank you, thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow, Mary. Okay, Ava. Thank you, Ava. Um, please say hello to your mother-in-law for me. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mama, Mama do, Mama do. You're welcome. Oh, you're gonna come back tomorrow. Great, great. See you tomorrow, Marion. Thank you for your sentence. Okay, Sushi. Oh, see you tomorrow. Great, Sushi. Thanks so much. Andrea, oh, what, what time tomorrow? 10 a.m. This time tomorrow. So I'm in Japan. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. Japan time. I'm in Japan. Saturday, 10 a.m. Japan time. I will be right here. Okay, Samra, thank you. Ray Ray, thank you. Okay, Lolly's going to be here. All right, Lolly. Mwah. Okay, good, good. Samuel, take it easy. Say woo. You too. Have a good time. Have a good day, say woo. Okay. I'm going, Ava, thank you. Okay. You're welcome, Ava. Yes, yes. So please give my love to your mother in law. Okay. And um, let's say goodbye together, shall we? Let's do it together. You're welcome, uh, Nanjet. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's say goodbye. And this is Friday, so the weekend is coming up. So everyone, um, be safe, um, be happy, smile. Oh, let's be like a monk. Be like a monk, which is to 
to cook, clean, and pray for world peace. Yes, let's cook, clean, and pray for world peace. Raphael, thank you. Okay, let's count down to saying goodbye. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bye everyone. Love you. Bye. See you tomorrow. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.